seasoned travelers are used to turning off cell phones when the airplane's cabin door closes, and know they can't use the phones during the rest of the flight. The Federal Communications Commission bans cell phone use because of the potential for ground network interference, as well as to appease passengers. The Federal Aviation Administration regulates the devices to avoid problems with navigation and communication systems. Aircraft Communications Interference Emitted radio signals could interfere the aircraft's communications and navigational equipment, according to the FAA. Any electronic device could potentially interfere, which is why you also have turn-off MP3 players, gaming equipment and laptops during takeoff and landing. Cell phones are more troublesome because they transmit electromagnetic energy to cell towers that could be many miles away. The cell phone has a frequency that is different than airplane communications, but it is not guaranteed that the phone will stay on that frequency all the time. Evidence. Despite the ban, no concrete proof exists that cell phone use could pose a hazard in the air. Even though the Radio Technical Commission for Aeronautic has been examining evidence since 2003, not enough research has been done to form a definitive conclusion. To be safe, the FCC continues its ban on cell phones. Cell phone tower confusion. The FCC also bans cell phones because they could interfere with ground networks. When you are flying thousands of feet above cell phone towers and moving hundreds of miles per hour, the phone could try to link to many cell towers for a call. In essence, that confuses both the phone and the network. To compensate for the confusion, the phone emits a stronger signal, which increases risk of wreaking havoc with the airplane's equipment. Public desire. Even if technical concerns were resolved, evidence exists that most of the public does not want cell phones on airplanes. In 2004, the FCC considered lifting the ban. However, airline travelers protested. While it's hard to avoid crying babies and turbulence, passengers have made it clear they would prefer to limit the noise attached to cell phones to zero. Like the United States, several European countries have banned cell phones on airplanes. But, as safety and ground telecommunications issues have been addressed by new technology, those bans have been lifted. In April 2008, Air France became the first airline to give a trial run to a service that let passengers use their own phones to email, text and make and receive phone calls. Oman Air, Royal Jordanian and Shenzhen Airlines have announced similar partnerships with On Air. But though in-flight mobile phone systems have been popping up around the world, U.S. regulators have been a harder nut to crack. For the Federal Aviation Administration, safety is the highest concern. Portable electronic devices, including cell phones, emit radio signals that officials worry will interfere with aircraft communications or flight control, navigational and other onboard electronic equipment. For the moment, it goes without saying that if you are a passenger on an airline and are asked to turn off an electronic device for any reason, whether you believe it to be valid or not, you should comply. Not only will doing so ensure the safety of your flight, particularly if the aircraft is older, but will potentially save you from facing a very serious federal criminal charges. Given safety concerns in a post-September 11th world, failing to comply with such requests can lead to very unpleasant results. However, if you have specific questions about the use of electronic devices and cell phones on flights, you should contact an attorney who specializes in aviation law. So today we answered the question, why can't we use cell phones on planes? I hope that today's video is useful and interesting for you. Bye-bye.